3 Ways to Rethink Your Supply Chain Planning Strategy Anis Mott is the CEO of Lean Swift, a global leader in Inforam 3 e-commerce and mobile solutions. In the grand scheme of supply chain planning, it seems like only yesterday that the Amazon effect altered our approach to operations and forced us to reconsider how we moved goods as customer demand for faster and cheaper shipping skyrocketed. Then, just when we thought we'd figured it out, COVID appeared. When an employee tested positive, the already volatile demand spiraled out of control, and entire manufacturing floors and warehouses came to a halt. Even now, as the recovery begins, the panicked mindset of the pandemic era has companies stockpiling goods, resulting in raw material shortages and, eventually, drawn-out purchasing and shipping timelines. What can be done to improve the situation? First and foremost, businesses must have the appropriate technology in place to provide the greatest daily visibility into all aspects of their supply chain. This could include cloud-based data management tools as well as streamlined forms of communication with all supply chain elements via a supplier portal, allowing leadership to ensure efficiency. Second, rather than abandoning tried and true processes entirely, supply chain managers should look for ways to reshape and innovate their existing strategies and executions in order to achieve greater efficiency. You've done it before, and you know you can do it again. Here are a few different approaches you can take. Rethink your manufacturing process. Begin by thoroughly evaluating your product mix, not just what you're selling, but also the raw materials that go into each product. To reduce uncertainty in your supply chains, you'll need to reduce your reliance on products that require materials that are in short supply or are subject to sudden price changes. Consider it a shift from a quantity-first mindset, in which you want to produce as much as possible, to a quality-first mindset in which you only produce what is required to meet customer demand. In shifting away from a quantity-first mindset, you should also resist the temptation to use overall equipment effectiveness OEE, as a primary KPI how productively your machines operate while in use. The desire to achieve higher E can lead to the production of unnecessary manufacturing products, which consume scarce raw materials that could be used for more in-demand products. Finally, if you manufacture in economic order quantities EOQ, consider whether this is still appropriate for your operations, particularly in the post-COVID era. Manufacturing in large quantities to save money is not an efficient model in an era when raw materials are becoming more expensive and difficult to obtain. Plan out your inventory investment. <laughs> A quality-first mindset necessitates understanding not only what your most important products are and what is easiest to manufacture quickly, but also what inventory levels you need to keep at different distribution centers based on the goods people in that region buy. You can free up space in other distribution centers by keeping these items closer to their most interested customers. Of course, keeping backups, or safety stock, is always a good idea, but far too many businesses think of safety stock in terms of finished products. While you're keeping an eye on raw materials and critical components, stockpile them as soon as you notice a surplus or a drop in price. This allows you to manufacture when needed without taking up a lot of space in your distribution centers. Increase the speed of your flows. It's time to abandon the fixed calendar of ordering and shipping with built-in lead times, especially if you're working with difficult to obtain raw materials, where lead times can shift at any time. Instead. Give yourself as much room for error as possible by employing all strategies available to shorten lead times and speed up the process from the start. Lead times can be reduced through both external and internal processes. Consider investing in shorter or faster shipping routes to compensate for delayed arrivals of raw materials or finished goods to your distribution centers. Lead times can also be reduced by adopting and implementing systems and processes that accelerate product assembly and movement, such as a warehouse management system. WMS, conveyors, soft slash hard allocation, and so on. A changing economy necessitates a changing supply chain, as do shifting consumer expectations. You can adapt by updating your technology stack for top-down visibility, rethinking manufacturing strategies, slowing and targeting inventory investments, and increasing flows. Maintain constant communication with your suppliers, whether through a supplier portal, email, or phone calls, 
because increased communication and collaboration is a critical first step in minimizing supply chain issues. Although none of these methods will solve the global supply chain challenges, implementing them can significantly improve your efficiency and reduce your exposure to the current supply chain crisis. Don't be afraid to accept change, 